coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. We've been bear hunting for a long time and it's one of our favorite things to do, especially because in the springtime you have turkeys or you have bears and we'd rather be hunting bears. It is what it is. We love to hunt because we love to hunt. We're not doing it for the show. Okay, uh, hold it in the middle. Uh, the left, your other left. To the right, just uh, put it in the center. Uh, there. Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yeah, this week we're heading up to one of our favorite places, South Peace Outfitters, Alberta, Black Bears. And this year, we're gonna do it a mare step style. Yeah, you know, there's something about bear hunting that intrigues a lot of people, but when you get eye level to them, yeah, you know, and, and Don and all the boys up there, I mean, they just, they set it up for however you want it, and it's set up right. And, and you get a little nervous sometimes, I have to admit, nah. you know, when you got bears <laughs> sniffing at a mare step, it can be a little exciting, but you know what? We live for adrenaline, don't we? Yes, I mean, we this do. is this is how we get our natural highs, our adrenaline rushes, is bear hunting on the ground. So let's real simple, kids. Hear hear this out. You don't need any drugs. You don't need any alcohol to get the adrenaline rush that true bow hunting and hunting can do for you. And Absolutely. that's why we do it. Absolutely. So let's get going, shall let's we? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Alberta, South Peace, the Lins. Well, once again, we headed up to South Peace Outfitter, Don Lynn and the boys up in Alberta. It's a, it's a great place to go in the springtime. It's much better than staying at home and hunting turkeys, let me tell you. you know, every year we head up here to Don Lynn's at South Peace Outfitters, and here's one thing that is a guarantee. You're gonna have a good time, and you're gonna see lots of bears. You know, to share it with Hoppy and Sage, and you know, it's Sage's graduation present to come on up here, and, and you know, that alone is just, man, that's awesome. To know that, that you got a young man that, that studied hard, you know, played football and did all the right things and just couldn't wait to earn that right to come up here. That's pretty cool. This is our first day of bear camp. It was really hot and sunny until about 30 minutes ago and now... Now the, we got devil's head, look at it. There, there. Everything is blowing and dusty everywhere and the cottonwood trees are dropping all the cotton. It looks like it's snowing but it's actually just coming out of the trees. But this is kind of a big trip for you. I mean, we've been bear hunting for years, Yes. but a month ago today, you had two stents put in your heart. I thank God every day that we've been able to do what we do. Yep. Thank God that I have you and RJ and Nani and our family and our friends. It sure makes you look at life totally different. I will tell you that. And uh, I've learned that in this month, you mm -hmm. need to slow down. Really? You? Think about my actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially because now, I mean, you're usually just a go strong, go hard, don't think twice about consequences ever. And now you kind of have to. Not because of your heart, but because the medicine that you're on, no damage done to your heart or anything no, like I'm that. No, good. We but, are good that way. But the medicines they have him on now is so his I blood won't clot. I can't stop bleeding, so, so I'm now he needs to, prone. <laughs> a, he, He's got super glue and band-aids in his backpack, so we're okay. But this could be, you know what, you should shoot a big old bear tonight. Yep. We love. Right, so let's go shoot some big bears. Let's go bear down. Yes. Now that Ralph and Vicky are all ready to go, the bait is being loaded up for the hunt tonight. Oh, is it spray? I got both. Can can we can you leave it with spray us though? On. I just wanna. I'm yeah, gonna spray. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. No, I was gonna spray it around, but we'll leave it there too. And if you yeah. wanna, you just wanna I'll, reach out every once in a while. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. No, I threw in. Uh, I don't know what flavor I threw in. I threw in uh, a paste. To put gobs around, and I threw in a spray bottle. Good, thank you. Oh, I, I know. I'm gonna tell you something. You know, Don, we've played this game a long time, but there are things that truly do help, right? Oh, yeah. Literally help. Attract more bears, bring the bears in, and keep them there, and help cover your scent. That stuff does work. Don't drink it. Oh, yeah. Makes your pee smell, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it makes you pee a lot, too, probably. A lot of hard work goes into baits for bears, but the results are worth it all. When you're going on a Canadian bear hunt, there's a lot of times you're going to have a long ride to get to where you're going to be set up. And you know what? That's part of the adventure and that's part of the fun. This setup that we're going to, it looks pretty good and I think I'm going to give it my approval. It's our first night out here at South Bay's Outfitters in Alberta. Our first spring bear seat hunt of the season. 
and we're both pretty excited about it. Ralph is sitting out in the ground blind with his Amara step, seeing what can happen. I'm here in this ground blind. It's been hot and sunny all day long until we decide to go out and it starts to rain. Got our blind set up. We're dry, but check this out. I don't know if I can show you this. Ready? This is awesome. Inside my quiver here, inside my true glow quiver. Ready? Watch. Yeah, lesson learned. It might be drying the ground blind. Anything up against the wall is collecting water. Oh well. We're gonna sit tight. When we came in, there was actually a bear on the bait that ran off. So we know there's a bear in the area. We're just gonna have to sit, be quiet, and see if it'll come back. While Vicki is trying to figure out how to keep her gear dry, Ralph already has a visitor in sight. We're in the blind and we got a bear coming in and I mean, you know, we're, I, I've always sit there and I'll glass him and I look at him and I try to study him and, and then all of a sudden, I mean, you don't have time and here's another one coming in. This is why we hunt South Peace. Although Ralph might mention the word gar hole every now and again, that's not in his vocabulary on this hunt. Don has put him on the bears and they're showing up like clockwork. It's crazy how many bears you see at South Peace. It is. You've already seen two, and now look what's coming in with me. Mm. The guys were right. Bears are on the move tonight, and both Ralph and Vicky have multiple bears in front of them. If this is how the rest of the week is gonna be, it's gonna get crazy. The guides are back from working the bait and have pulled the cards on the cameras. Now it's time to put a game plan together and see where we are going for tonight's sit. Well, it's day two of the hunt here at South Peace Outfitters. We had a great night last night. We saw six different bears up close and personal. We're kind of hoping tonight maybe we'll see that one bear that I really want to see. I don't know what he looks like. I mean, he's out there, but we're going to try. <laughs> Vicky settles in for a long sit, but doesn't have to wait long before a bear she likes makes its way into her stand.
got in the stand, or I should say we got in our mare stuff here, and we ended up, um, we sat for about 30 minutes, and this nice bear comes in, big neck, you know, comes in, and I'm like, oh, and I grabbed my white right away, and Dad here, he's like, oh, she must be serious, she grabbed her white last night, I never grabbed my bow, well, he came in probably like 10 to 7 when we first saw him, he came in, milled around for a while, another bear came in, I think it was a big meat sow, came in, chased him off the bait, chased him a few times around. We sat here, she milled around for a while. He came back, he finally made her leave, and he's been sitting around here milling, 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 milling. He finally just gave me a shot. I was thinking I wasn't gonna be able to get him. I really was, because he was on his way out. He's been here and on and off for two hours and never presented a good, clean shot for me. I just, I was holding my bow for probably a minute and a half or more. And he finally, and there's a log out there that I thought, oh, don't hit that. My arrow, my beaming, <laughs> he went straight through him. It's blinking right there in a deadfall root sticking up. He didn't go, we just, well, I can see him from here. He's probably, oh, heck, 50 yards from us, maybe, maybe 60. He's down. <laughs> Beautiful bear, second night here at South Peace Outfitters, and Tyler, we're hunting on the ground, and it's been kind of crazy. Yeah, something new we're trying. And something new we're trying, and you know what? It's been kind of crazy, and I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I got my first bear for the trip. <laughs> second night. Second night, and I actually heard there's two other bears down. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. Tony and Sage. Oh, Sage got one. Yep. I met up with Dad and Gary and had a cookie on the way in. A cookie. Yeah, and that's what took you so long to get here? Yeah, maybe. Oh, and, uh, nice. They told me Tony had, Tony had got one. Yeah, but, but Sage just Sage. texted me and said he got one too, so that's cool. Awesome. All right, should we get the, we'll get our stuff, we'll come back and get him? You betcha. All righty, all righty. Woo! Well, it's the last night of camp. And we're pumped. Weather's been a little windy. It's been really windy. It was raining a little bit, but it looks like it moved north. So that gives us an opportunity. We're going to get in the ground blinds. And for the last night of our hunt here, you know, we've had, yeah, we haven't tagged a bear yet. I haven't. But when you see the pictures of what is there, you'll know why I'm holding off. Ralph is taking it to the wire as this is the last night but he's optimistic that the right bear will come in. It's not long before the first bear steps into the clearing. Ralph has seen a huge amount of bears, and as it is with bear hunting, you become familiar with the regulars. You know, the big thing when you're bear hunting, or any any type of hunting, is getting your mindset. And when you get your mindset, then you know what your game plan is going to be. You know, mine has been hold off, wait for one of those big old boars to come in, the no-brainers, as Vicky calls them. And, I mean, we've got bears coming in. You know, I'm, I'm watching them, I'm looking at them, and I'm checking them all out. But the bottom line here is keeping your mind, keeping your head in the game at all times, because you just never know when that big boy is going to walk in. Good boy. He 
better on when I'm good on. Huh? Way to go. Thank you, brother. Yeah. That's you know, a good bear. We have been blessed to be a team with Don for many years, not only here in Alberta, but in the Yukon, and look at the size of that bear. Oh my gosh. Beautiful bear. It's been a tough, tough week. And Don, Don, will, Don will be the first to admit it because he's not one of those guys that are going to say, oh yeah, it's great every single day. I mean, it's just been different. We've had these bears on cameras, huh? I mean, it's, it's crazy. Have them, we'd go sit it, Hoppy go sit on this giant melon head bear and can't find, they don't, they're not showing up well. This guy, we had an overcast day. Uh, it was a little, I mean, I mean, it started raining, stopped, wind picked up and then we had thunder and we're like, oh. And then it cleared off. It cleared it off. Got beautiful. And then we got there. And then he came in. I shot him at like 12 yards. Here's the deal. We got to tag him and we got to get him out of here. We got some work ahead of us. Yeah, we do. I got in part way. Yeah. He didn't go that far. I mean. No, 100 yards? Yeah, 150 ish maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I don't probably even know. 250 up and down. Yeah, about 400. <laughs> yeah. This is the last day we are flying yeah. out in the morning. I hope. Maybe. By the time we get out of here, it will be morning. Yeah. She's going to kill me. <laughs> no, she won't. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank honey. you. And you too. I, I mean, you know, but that's a bear. That's a big bear. You waited and waited. Passed up a lot of bears. You passed up a lot of bears and then you got a huge bear. Much bigger than yours. I'll give it to you this week. You know. It hurt. Can, can you quote this? I'm Put gonna this cry. on all social media. You actually shot a bigger <laughs> bear than me for oh, once. Not in your for life. once. It's been numerous for occasions. For once in your life. Numerous occasions. Seriously, hey Don, man. you know, Ryan, Tyler, everybody, Gary, I mean everybody just Thanks so much again for making a, just, here's the big deal. I, I mean, when you talk about wanting to go on a bear hunt. Right. Alberta is one of the few provinces that allow you to, to, to you know, if you want, to take two bears. Right, so I mean, for the dollar wise, and for you going up on a, on a guided hunt, Alberta is a ticket. You know what, give Don a call, South Peace Outfitters, spring bear hunting, who knows? We may even be in camp. All you gotta do is call and ask. Let's do it. Let's, Let's share a bear it. camp up in Alberta with Don Lind and us next spring. Let's do it. Why not, right? Hey, come on. We want to thank you guys Bring for watching coffee. this week's Archer's Choice. Lots of coffee. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.